So you saw us coming down the street here with guns. What do you think? I saw y'all right here standing here armed, and it don't bother me one bit. Because when I see y'all, I see Americans. I see men of the free, home in a goddamn brave, man. That's what I see. But, you know, I was like scoping you guys out, and I was seeing what you guys are doing. I actually came up and talked to your friend, and, you know, you guys are uh, practicing your Second Amendment, and, you know, I, I back that. You know, I really respect that. Awesome. To be real, and it's on, honestly a good look. It's a good look for Tennessee to have their guns out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we kind of look at it like, you know, for hundreds of years it was a tradition, you know? Yeah, it was a tradition. Uh, tradition is a part of everyday life. I like the hat. Yeah. Well, we try to, kind of, we try to soften it a little bit right. with, with the hats and yeah, make really. people think of like freedom and the founding of the country. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, we should be able to protect ourselves and we'll all be safer when there's people out there willing to protect us. Right. You know, and, and each other too, protect right. each other as well. Yeah, I mean, like, it's honestly like, who polices the police at yeah. the end of the day? Who is yeah. security for security? Yeah. So it's like you said, Whenever strangers have power, it holds each other accountable. It holds the nation accountable to be the best that we all can be, you know, because nobody wants to get shot at the end of the day. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like everybody needs the right to bear arms to protect themselves because things things can't get crazy. To me, you like, know, yeah. gun ownership is democracy. It's, I it's agree. spreading out in power and it's, you know, enabling people to I mean, if in a really bad situation, you need to vote, you know, you can vote. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, where are you from? Um, born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. No kidding. Okay, yeah, man, actually local. Yeah, so. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, the few and far between, huh? Yes, sir. What do you yeah. think about all the like, just a crazy amount of people moving to Nashville now? Oh man, it's it's been wild. You know, it's been uh, you know, I grew up here, so I've gotten to see it from the start to where it is now, and uh, it's really changed a lot. Definitely, it's it's uh, it's kind of losing its southern hospitality a little bit, but. Yeah. You know, we, we've got a, a part to keep it there, you know what I mean? We yeah. do our part to keep it there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I hope I hope more and more people who move here, you know, want to assimilate, you know, to the culture and right. kind of embrace it, you know, yeah. and yeah. not just be like, oh, I want to move somewhere better and then do my own thing. It's like, no, no, you know, try to try to embrace, like, uh, the place you're moving to. Yeah, I, I came from Illinois. Okay. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely... Uh, Appreciate that that culture and why we're, we're in Illinois, like, uh, Northern Illinois, called Rockford. Okay, it's called Rockford. Nice. Yeah. My dad's from Normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know Normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not too far. How, how old are you? How old are you? Take a guess. Uh, I'm gonna say 27. Very close. 28. 28. All right. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, right on the money. I'll make you guess back. What do you think? What do you, what do you think about me? 35. Close. 39. 39. 39. All right. Yeah. Not All too right. bad, not too bad. Not bad. So, not bad. so, so you saw us with uh, with the rifles. What'd you think? Uh, it was a little intimidating at first. You know, I'm used to seeing police and stuff out on Broadway. Uh, I'm not used to seeing uh, assault rifles and stuff like that. So, I mean, honestly, it was a little nerve wracking at first. But you know, I was like scoping you guys out and I was seeing what you guys are doing. I actually came up and talked to your friend. And you know, you guys are uh, practicing your Second Amendment, and you know, I, I back that. You know, I really respect that. Awesome. To be real, and it's on, honestly a good look. It's a oh, good look you. for Tennessee to have their guns out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we kind of look at it like, you know, for hundreds of years it was a tradition. You know, yeah, it was a tradition. Uh, tradition is a part of everyday life. I like, I like the hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We try to, I kind of, we try to soften it a little bit right. with, with the hats and make really. people think of like 
freedom and the founding of the country. Yeah. Most of the time, they just think of pirates. Like, well, all right, whatever. At least pirates aren't true. the worst thing in the world. Right, right. They're not as bad as politicians. So that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> they're the land pirates. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pirates, politicians, police. Oh wait, right. lots of p words. That's yeah, funny. no doubt, no that's doubt. That's funny. But uh, yeah, so so we try to make it like, um, and then get people used to it, you know. So, right. like, I think you know, all of us have grown up with TV, with the movies, and with you know, I mean, all that, like everything on the TV is fake. Like even most of the news is fake. Like you know, yeah. the TV is like it's so crazy. But we grew up with that. Yeah, you this know? is very real and kind of in your face. And it's like, yeah. it's the Second Amendment. It's respected. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like oh, yeah. That. Yeah. I and, like and, that a lot. Yeah. So, like, one of the things we tell people is the Second oh, Amendment. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. One of the things we tell people is, like, you know, the Second Amendment's really unique because all the Bill of Rights talk about rights, but the Second Amendment is the only one that talks about a duty, a responsibility. Right. Because it says a well regulated militia being necessary to the yeah. security of a free state so you know it, it implies that obviously militia is like it's sort of like a reluctant citizen soldier you know it's like right. oh, okay i gotta do it someone's gotta do it we all gotta do it a little bit you know um it's not our favorite thing to do but someone's gotta do it yeah and it's better than having like you know where, where when you have everybody as part of the militia is better than having Nobody. A, a, yeah, nobody or like all select yeah. people that aren't really accountable that we hold, themselves. We hold each other accountable. And yeah. like you being out here, kind of like the city holds you accountable right now. It's like, yep. you know, at this moment, you know, like we wouldn't really be able to do anything until like, you know, something were to like grow. Like it has to get bigger than what it is. You know what I mean? Like, if you were a disturbance, then we'd, it would have to be a bigger disturbance. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's, no nece- it's not necessary. You know, I don't think it's in our nature to be destructive. You know, it's more, more so in our nature to defend. All oh, right, you are people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, um, I, I think an armed society is a polite society. You know, right. a safe society, and like, I love it when. When I know, like, especially open carry is cool because, like, I like knowing that there's a bunch of people and being able to see, yeah. you know, that there's a bunch of people, um, you know, like, I mean, we we all know each other, but, I mean, we don't all, we haven't all known each other for years, you know, right. it's not like some, we're not like some tight-knit group that we, you know, it's we're raised the, together, it's like, I mean, you know, you can have you can have strangers who are armed, and you know it just it keeps everybody honest, keeps everybody safe. Right. I feel a lot safer with strangers being armed than make than only having police be armed. I agree with that. Who are like paid. And, I like that. Yeah. And honestly, you know? like it was a little like like I said in the beginning, a little nerve wracking because it's unfamiliar. You know what I mean? It was yeah. very unfamiliar to see another citizen like yourself, like myself out here instead of a police officer or like you know three cops running it's like they they've got things handled you know but as well it's like we as the people need to have things handled and that's that's honestly a good trait that you're leading by because uh yeah because i mean the world is crazy yeah, 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 I mean, I think, yeah, definitely we're all safer. Like, I mean, we've seen, like, I, I mean, we're, we're a country with a, a half a billion guns, you know? Right. Like, you're never going to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, that's not a lot of commotion. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like you're never going to get rid of them. You can't really keep them out of the wrong hands. The criminals right. are always going to get them. Um, so it's like, you know, we should be able to protect ourselves and we'll all be safer when there's people out there willing to protect, right. you know, and, and each other too, protect 100%. each other as well. Yeah, and I mean, like, it's uh, honestly like, who polices the police at yeah. the end of the day? Who is yeah. security for security? Yeah. So it's like you said, whenever strangers have power, it holds each other accountable. It holds the nation accountable to be the best that we all could be, you know, because nobody wants to get shot at the end of the day. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like 
everybody needs the right to bear arms to protect themselves because things things can get crazy you know oh, yeah yeah and then like uh I, I like it because it, to me, like gun, gun ownership is democracy. It's I it's agree. spreading out in power, and it's you know enabling people to. I mean, if in a really bad situation you need to vote, you know you can vote. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. And like, but I like the idea of like spreading out that power, right? So that you don't have like it concentrated. I do too. I do too. Yeah, uh, yeah concentrated power creates problems. Yeah, corruption. Yep. Right. And, yeah, uh, uh, and, then, and I think America will be like America will be safer overall compared to like country, you know, like China and, and Russia, you know, Asia and Africa countries uh, in, in Europe. You know, where, where you've had these just massive, like, you know, mass murder or genocide, you know, right. based on religion or race or ethnicity and all that stuff, like. I mean, it's going on t today, right now, as we speak. It's also like the lack of individualism, I think, because I feel like our Second Amendment really allows us to be an individual. It allows yeah. us to be, you know, our own, our own government. You know, yeah. like the straw man. We are our own government. We are our own, you know, contract and things like that. A little, so, a little bit of like individual sovereignty. It's like, right? You know, I, I, I'm armed. Like yeah, you could do something to me, but I could decide to respond. I can exactly. decide to fight back. Right. And right. I may die, but hey, you may die too. It's a it's a un, unspoken mutual peace because nobody wants to get hurt at the end of the day. So I it's care. like if everybody has the capability of hurting everybody, then it's like nobody's gonna get hurt. Like I think, I, that's what I found. You know when when I'm in areas of the country where you know there's a lot of people carrying guns, like. You just you feel way safer. You know you're safer. In, yeah. in most of those places, the crime rates are lower. And then you got some big city. Now Nashville is cool. Like obviously we can do this in Nashville, but like right. um, you know some cities <laughs> we'd probably get shot if we tried to do this. And it's like those cities have Chicago or something, right? Yeah. You can't do this in Chicago, and they got really bad crime. Washington D.C. Right. You know. Um, well, hey, man, I, I really yeah. appreciate you talking yeah, to Yeah, of course, buddy. Yeah, Thanks a lot for your time. And, yeah. uh, you know, is there is there a way that I can find this interview? Yeah, absolutely. I got, oh, one, you got one of those. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate you. Yeah, dude, nice yeah, talking I'll, to you. I'll reach out to you guys. Awesome, man. Take yeah. it easy. Uh, all right, so you saw us coming down the street here with guns. What do you think? I saw y'all right here standing here armed, and it don't bother me one bit. Because when I see y'all, I see Americans. I see land of the free. Home in a goddamn brave, man. That's what I see. And when I see y'all, man, I see Americans standing for what they know. And if you don't know what you gotta do, then you gotta go where you gotta go to know what you gotta know. And that's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say. Where you from? I'm from Tullahoma, Tennessee, man. Hey, Shout out to right. Town. Not far. But all I gotta say is, in the world we live in now, I feel like stuff's trying to be pulled from us as American citizens. So if we ain't standing for what we know, then who are we? We got to empower that shit. We got to show what we own. We got to show what we know. We got to show what we got to go by type shit. And I appreciate y'all. I really do. Thanks, man. So y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. Yeah. Y'all keep on supporting. You keep on pressing. You keep on doing it. And it's going to go somewhere. I promise. Thank y'all, man. Sweet. I appreciate you. Think, uh, think you come out with us one day, maybe? I will, what? man. Hell yeah, I got my AR, I'll be out there with you. Hey, I appreciate the support. Yes, ma'am. So we've been testing out. We didn't want to give away a gun and not know if it works. It's brand new and uh, appears to be working uh, really well. Looks good.